Hello, and welcome to this episode of Effective Websites. Many institutions go to great efforts to choose the perfect logo and font. In this episode, we're going to show you how to give your site a rapid facelift in terms of colors and fonts so that the colors and fonts you use for your letterhead match those on your website. Let's get started by opening both the front and back end of our demo site. There are some times you just love a template, but for some reason hate the colors. Thankfully, changing colors and fonts is a very quick and easy process. For instance, let's say that you have a logo that would clash with the colors of the demo template. It's bothered you up to this point in time, but you just didn't want to say anything. You thought you'd just have to deal with it. So let's change the colors and make it better. We'll go to the Extensions, Template Manager, and click on our template, Soul Search. It's now open to the Theme Specific page. And if we look down about one third of the page, we see Top Row 1 Background Color. There's a box beside it. If we click on that, a palette opens up that allows us to change the color. We can change the color in two ways. We can either grab the slide and move it up and down until we see the color we want, then select it with our cursor. We'll click Save and go to the front end and refresh and find that the colors are changed. But there's a better way to manage your color. Instead of using the slider and then selecting it, talk to your printer. Let them know that you're creating a web page and you'd like to match the colors in the logo with the fonts. Ask if they have the exact colors and fonts that they used in your logo and they'll be happy to help you. Or if someone in your organization did it, ask them what the colors were. Let's say that your primary logo color is 3366. 99 nine, and your font is cabin sketch we'll go to the color palette and instead of using the slider we go to this little box and type in 336699 then save and we have exactly the color that matches our logo if we return to the back end you can see where there are other color places where you have the option to change those colors on this same page, just a little further down, we see Highlight Font. Highlight Fonts are these fonts, Tabs and Headers. So if we want to change these, we can go back to the back end. Click on the up-down arrows on the side of the box, and notice that we have a wide variety of fonts to choose from. We'll scroll up and down and show you just a few. For the sake of demonstration, we'll select Cabin Sketch, then Save, go to the front end, refresh. Now all of our headings for menu tabs, articles, modules have changed to Cabin Sketch. Let's close this, and then there's one more thing you need to know. Your Joomla template allows you to use all of what are called Google Fonts. Google Fonts are fonts which are guaranteed to display exactly on all browsers. If you want to see what they look like, you can go to google.com slash fonts, and you'll find that there are nearly 700 fonts to choose from. Colors and fonts can take your website from an off-the-shelf whole hum site to a real eye-popper in a matter of minutes. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Effective Website. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.